Aura, when getting an implant, a front tooth especially, is it a long process? Also, what if bone is needed, as in my case, my front tooth has been gone for years? A great question. So, whenever you have a tooth that has been gone for a long time, mm -hmm. just like this person is concerned about, if you have good bone, that's a different process, and if you don't have good bone, mm -hmm. then that's a different process. Uh, let's say, start with the scenario uh, this person is describing. So if they had good bone, mm -hmm. and at the time when the tooth was removed, the, all the procedures were done correctly, and that person did not have a lot of infection, they did not have any kind of damage or any kind of trauma to the teeth and all of that, if it is a straightforward extraction, and the flipper was done correctly, not necessarily the damage has, could be done just by the trauma or like any kind of an infection or gum disease, mm -hmm. but if the flipper is not done properly or if the person is not wearing the flipper as instructed properly by the dentist, they can do some severe damage also. Mm -hmm. So all being well, if you have good bone, then the procedure could be as simple as you come in on to the, the office to get the implant done, mm -hmm. we can put the tooth on the same day also. Wow. It could be as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't have good bone, mm -hmm. then can the implant still be done? Answer is yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. So as you know, we have seen in our, you have seen in our office, when the person does not have bone, uh, the first thing is to do is the recreate the bone. So we do the bone reconstruction. Right. So when you do the bone reconstruction, again, the, it could be done two different ways. Either you can place the implant mm -hmm and do the bone reconstruction at the same time. Sometimes mm -hmm. we call it as an expansion of the bone. So we, if the bone is like this, we expand the bone a little bit and then we slide the implant inside and then we add a little bit of more bone inside um, on the outside and then uh, we close the gum back up and then let the bone heal for about four to six months and before you get the final tooth. Or in some instances, and if the bone is kind of really paper, paper thin, so then what you need to do is the first step will be to do the bone reconstruction, mm -hmm. which normally takes about four to six months. And then after you do the bone reconstruction for four to six months, then you go back and put the implant in. Mm -hmm. Then you wait for about another three to four months and, uh, and then you're done. So to the answer to your question, if you have bone loss, can an implant be done? Yes, the implant can be done. What is the length of the implant depending on the condition of your bone? and um, we have implants we are able to finish on the same day or we it can take as long as about six to nine months uh, the other uh, thing that you need to know whether uh, whether you have good bone to place the implant or not uh, who, wherever you are uh, so whoever you are visiting with the dentist you're visiting mm -hmm. so make sure that they have a great technology called a cat scan technology so in our office we have uh, the CAT scan technology, which can tell us exactly how much of bone uh, the patient has, whether the patient has some really thick bone that we are able to slide the implant right in, or they have some really thin bone that we cannot put the implant in, whether we have to make the bone wider before we put the implant in. So the CAT scan technology can exactly tell us how much of bone we, the patient has before we even get started with the procedure. So that way there is no ifs or buts and there are no surprises on the expenses. So we give them a treatment plan to either do the implant at the same time or well ahead of time, we tell them the patient needs bone grafting mm -hmm. and it is gonna take about six to nine months. So the technology can offer a lot more uh, detail, a lot more detail in depth. And we are able to use to uh, deter determine whether the implants can be done um, at the same time and it can take about three months or it could be three days or it could be uh, nine months total. Oh, okay.